So last week, uh, George W. Bush, the son of George Bush Sr., uh, made a joke. He was on stage giving a speech and he made a joke about the Iraq war. The Iraq war, obviously, everybody now knows that it was based on false, uh, false information. Now we were hearing on the BBC, it says FBI foiled a terror plot to kill George W. Bush. So according to the BBC, uh, Iraqi militants tried to sneak into the U.S. via Mexico. So let's have a look. It says here, uh, Islamist sympathizers plan to murder former U.S. President George W. Bush, but the plot was discovered by the FBI according to U.S. authorities. The suspect, a resident of Ohio, allegedly sought to have Iraqi operatives smuggled into the U.S. from Mexico for, operation, for operations. He is now in custody and appeared at a federal court in Ohio on Tuesday. The FBI used informants and electronic surveillance to foil the plan. According to court documents, the suspect identified as Shihab Ahmed Shihab, uh, 52, is an Iraqi national who has been in the U.S. since 2020 and had a pending asylum application. The FBI claims that Mr. Shihab told a confidential source, uh, a purported people smuggler, that he belongs to a group known as uh, al Ra'at which is Arabic for thunder, which is based in Qatar. In conversation with the FBI, with FBI source, uh, Mr. Shihab said he wished to murder uh, Bush for killing many Iraqis and breaking apart Iraq. He added, he added that he hoped to take part in the operation personally and did not care if he died as he would have been proud to be involved. Mr. Shihab was allegedly see, uh, seeking fake police badges and was inquiring about whether militants could be smuggled across the Mexican border to conduct the operation and then smuggled back out to escape. Two people he hoped to smuggle into the U.S. were described as former Iraqi intelligence agents with experience in assassination operations. Mr. Shihab, who also alleged, was also allegedly in touch with a second FBI source who claimed to be a client for the smuggler. Both informants recorded meetings with him. Mr. Shihab uh, allegedly told uh, sources he hoped to use the people smuggling service to bring uh, militants into the U.S though he is not accused of being a member of the, of the terror group. So in one instance, Mr. Shihab said one of the informants drove to Dallas, Texas to take video of Mr. Bush's residence and the George W. Bush Institute. So yeah, crazy stuff. But uh, in March 2022, he allegedly held a meeting in a Columbus, Ohio hotel room to look at weapons and fake law enforcement uniforms. He, is, he now faces 10 years in prison for attempting to bring someone illegally into the U.S., and another 20 for aiding and abetting the attempted murder of a former U.S. official. 